The question is, does this little analog port work on the Eosheen ROTG on-the-go receiver? And the answer is, well, sort of. This is me RZ. Okay, so I've got the monitor on. I don't see anything on the monitor. I've got the on-the-go receiver plugged into the notebook right here. And I am capturing on the screen the output of it. So it's working there on the screen. Now if I hold down the button, it'll start scanning. It'll start scanning on the screen. You can see the bar going across. It's looking for a frequency. Let's plug in this transmitter with a camera on it. Okay, we've got a transmission going. Okay, let's search for the frequency again. Holding down the button to start the search. There we go. And you can see the monitor flashes every so often when it finds the uh, frequency going across here looking. Alright. Found another section. Alright. And now you can see it's going to lock on right there. Let's take the lens cap off them. Got a picture right here. Got a picture on the screen. Let's do the search again. I'm going to press the button. Holding the button, it's starting to search. And you can see while it's searching, there's nothing on the monitor. The monitor just flickers every once in a while if it goes by a section where there is a signal. So the answer is, it does work. The output right here does work, but you can't use it like you can with your mobile device, your PC, to do the scanning tool. It only shows up on this monitor once it finds the frequency. But if I push the button to search, the monitor just goes blank, and then you can see it up here on the PC. So that's the difference. It does produce video from this analog output, but only when you find a frequency and you can't see the scanning going on. So if I was to use only the monitor, it would be kind of hard to see what was going on. So it's almost like I need the mobile device. Otherwise, I just got to wait and see if anything pops up. But if I'm on the mobile device, I can clearly see which frequencies are popping up once it gets done with the scan. So I'll do a scan again. All right, you can see it's scanning, and I can see what's coming out, what it's found, as far as frequencies, but on the monitor, it's just black. So that's the difference. The analog output does not produce the scanning tool. It does produce the video once it locks on, though. About to lock on, and there's the monitor. Mystery solved. So some notes about this test, in case you'd like to repeat it. Both of these, the O2 and the O1, have the same AV port right here. And the pinout is audio, video, 5 volts, and ground. I just use the video and the ground to hook to my monitor because the 5 volts was provided by the USB cable where I had it plugged in my notebook. So I hope that helps. See you next time.